हाय एवरीवन इन द फिल्म एक छोटी पहल वी सॉ दैट हाउ अ स्मॉल बॉय वाज थ्रोइंग अ स्टोन एट द स्ट्रीट लाइट एंड डैमेजिंग अ नेशनल प्रॉपर्टी बट आफ्टर हिज ग्रैंडफादर स्पोक टू हिम ही स्टार्टेड रिस्पेक्टिंग हिज नेशन एंड इट्स प्रॉपर्टी then this small boy started making other schoolmates aware when they did the same and inspired them to love our motherland unconditionally similarly there have been several great patriotic leaders in indian history who have taught us the true meaning of love for our motherland like chandrashekhar azad bhagat singh mangal pande etc so of all the great leaders of india Today I will tell you the inspiring story of the great Mangal Pandey. So today we are going to learn about the remarkable journey of a freedom fighter who had urged the other fighters to fight the Britishers with a slogan Beat the Britishers up. So this was when the Britishers had just started entering India. and then the britishers had started forming an army of indian soldiers in order to rule the indians and treat them as slaves because the indian people had never done any such task in the past hence the youngsters were enthusiastic to join the british army and this army had a young indian named mangal pandey he became a sepoy in the 34th Bengal Native Infantry of the British East India Company in a place called Barakpur in Kolkata. He would do every task assigned to him by Britishers with utmost dedication and sincerity like all the other Indian soldiers because he was very passionate about his religion and work. some britishers wanted that many soldiers from the army should represent the religion britishers used to follow and that's why many of the indian soldiers were even forced to change their religion in addition the britishers insulted the religions the indian soldiers followed the indian soldiers following christianity were provided additional facility by the britishers and were treated very well Because of this discriminatory behavior of the Britishers made Indian soldiers furious and the new cartridges introduced by the Britishers added to the Indian soldiers fury the Indian soldiers were using the brown based guns for a long time but the Britishers replaced the brown based guns used by the Indian soldiers with even more advanced and more powerful Enfield P53 guns but these new advanced guns had to be filled with grease cartridges which had to be first broken with the teeth and opened the gunpowder had to be first filled in gun hose and then the grease cartridges had to be then filled in the new gun a rumor spread among the sepoys of different provinces that grease was used to lubricate the cartridges which was a mixture of pigs and cows lard in order to avoid any moisture accumulation when the hindu and muslim sepoys learned of this they were very furious as it hurt their religious sentiments when the hindu and muslim sepoys confronted the british officers about it they humiliated the sepoys and drove them away this wicked act by the british officers confirmed the fact that it was done deliberately to disrespect their religions many soldiers along with mangal pande did not want to use these grease cartridges so they expressed their discontent about it but unfortunately the british officers refused to budge on this sensitive matter so in order to teach the indian soldiers a lesson the british officers forcefully transferred the soldiers who first revolted against the use of the grease cartridges from the 19th native infantry in behrampur to the city barakpur where mangal pande was posted and humiliated them profusely in front of the indian soldiers who had also revolted the british officers forcefully fed the grease cartridges to the indian soldiers of behrampur in front of the barakpur soldiers 
This act of the British officers infuriated Mangal Pandey. So Mangal Pandey went and cautioned the Indian soldiers of Barakpur that if they don't take any action, they would also have to go through the severe punishment. But the soldiers were so afraid of the Britishers that they did not support Mangal Pandey. When the British officers saw that Mangal Pandey was gaining popularity, they started harassing him to teach him a lesson. They didn't want him to succeed in this mission. When a British officer asked Mangal Pandey to bite the grease cartridge with his mouth that also during a training session, then Mangal Pandey immediately refused to do so. After this, British officer treated him very badly and complained to the top authority that if they did not teach Mangal Pandey an unforgettable lesson, then even the other Indian soldiers would gain the courage to follow him. That's why the British government issued an order to arrest Mangal Pandey to punish him for his revolt. When Mangal Pandey learned of this unjust decision of the British government, he protested with full vigour. And this is how he became a freedom fighter. When the British government did not budge on this decision, Mangal Pandey opened fire at the British officers. This infuriated the British government and when they were about to take an action against it, Mangal Pandey shoots himself so that he doesn't get arrested by the British. But the British officers save Mangal Pandey so he could be severely punished. And after that, the story took an unfortunate turn. The British government announced hang till death order for Mangal Pandey. This shocking news spread like a forest fire across the country. It was declared that Mangal Pandey, Indian sepoy of Barakpur, would be hanged on 18th April. Even though Mangal Pandey was aware of this order, it didn't shake his determination, which scared the British officers. They wanted that Mangal Pandey should be immediately hanged to death so that the chapter would come to an end. That's why the British officers preponed the date from 18th April to 8th April 1857 and planned to hang Mangal Pandey accordingly. So the hang to death order of Mangal Pandey was fixed for 8th April 1857. But the hangmen of Barakpur refused to execute the British government's hang to death order of Mangal Pandey as they believed it was wrong to do so. So four hangmen from Kolkata were specially called to Barakpur to execute the order. And sadly, Mangal Pandey was hanged to death on 8 April 1857. This brought tears in the eyes of the Indian soldiers and they hated the British officers. The hatred for the British Empire and Mangal Pandey's sacrifice fueled the rising of the revolt of 1857. The British officers were so scared of Mangal Pandey that they were even scared to stand near his dead body. Such was his presence. One month after his death, people from Uttar Pradesh joined this revolt to punish the British officers and they revolted the British officers to support Mangal Pandey's mission of putting a stop to the use of the grease cartridges. Mangal Pandey's slogan of Beat the Britishers was spread across and practiced by people with vigor and determination. Britishers who could not stand the sight of Mangal Pandey's revolt was haunting them even after he was dead as his death had awakened the people to fight against their injustice and for their right in full force. Mangal Pandey had sacrificed his life for his motherland at a young age of 30. It is said that the word Shaheed was first placed before Mangal Pandey's name for his sheer patriotism. Shaheed Mangal Pandey. Thank you.